Hi, I'm Josh with Woodland Mills, and this is our full-length product video for our Pathlander off-road trailer. In these videos, we like to cover everything from the crate, sizes, weights, and dimensions. We're going to touch on the assembly process, and then we're going to do an in-depth product walk around to show you all the design features of the trailer and how to use it in the field and the forest. The crate in front of me here is 56 inches long, 21 inches deep, and 32 inches high. It has a shipping weight of 414 pounds. Because of its size and weight, we're going to deliver it with a transport truck, with a power tailgate service where available to get it delivered down to the ground for a curbside delivery. Within the crate, the product is 313 pounds of that. And you're going to go through our assembly process between two and three hours and you're going to get the components out of the crate into a fully assembled trailer using common hand tools. Now I want to head into the product walk around. We'll start right here at the front of the trailer. We use a two inch ball receiver with a lock and pin provided. It's 360 degrees rotatable. We've got a grease fitting in the back to keep this rotation lubricated. The reason we put this rotating coupler in is to decouple the tow vehicle from the trailer. So when you're using it off road, the trailer can influence the tow vehicle and vice versa. Behind this, we have our tongue support. We've got the storage position as well as the in use position with the locking pin. We use a two by two heavy gauge steel for the tongue itself. Again, this is powder coated for durability and longevity. And you'll see we've got two mounting holes here. This is for a winch and post kit that we sell for the Pathlander to make it into a more dedicated dump trailer and to help you dump those heavier loads with the utility box. As we move a little further back, you're gonna see the locking pin, which keeps the utility box down and in position. You're also going to see the rubber bumper that the weight of the utility box rides on to isolate any vibration and load and bring it down into this tongue. We also provide a storage location for the pin so you don't have to put it on the ground when you're about to dump the utility box. With the utility box tipped out of the way, we can see how this tongue goes back and then we've laminated it between these two heavy gauge steel plates. Now this axle cross beam has the axles inserted within it. You'll see we have heavy gauge rims put on the end for support. And this is what carries our tires. We use a 22 by 11 by 10 inch rim multiply tire. We've got them on greasable axles with the Zerk fittings hidden back in here. In the front, you're gonna see our valve stem protectors to keep the valves protected when you're using the trailer off-road. The axle cross beam also carries our pivot point for the utility box. So we have solid three quarter inch steel here. We've brought that up to give us a nice pivot point and that ensures a nice balance for the utility box. And then as you load it, you can also balance and that's gonna give you the ease of dumping the material out. You can see the L rail, we've put a full frame under the utility box. So this is two and a quarter inch by inch and a half wide solid steel L rail. This supports our front and rear ribs. And these ribs are bent with our CNC tube bender. Uh, and that brings all that load and support right up to the top edge of the box. So when you're loading the utility box, that strength can carry through and down here to the tongue. The utility box is 53 inches long, 48 inches wide, and 19 inches deep at the center. It gives us 21 cubic feet of capacity when you go to flush. The tailgates, both front and back, are removable. We've got stainless steel draw latches on a slight angle to help draw down in as we tighten them. And that pulls our top rotation pin down into the slots to remove any play in the tailgates. Now with the tailgates off, you're gonna be able to take longer loads on the trailer. And then with the tailgates on, you can dump and allow the top rotation to let that material come out as you go. 
The entire box is powder coated in our green finish, again for strength and durability. At the rear of the Pathlander, we've provided the holes and we have an accessory that allows you to put another hitch receiver on the back. This is gonna give you the ability to tow a wood chipper or a log splitter with you out into the field and forest to get your job done. Because the Pathlander was designed as a general purpose utility trailer, it's really hard to cover all the applications. Whether you're doing leaves in the fall, getting your firewood ready for the season, you're moving some topsoil around, or maybe even just doing a run to the hunt camp, the Pathlander is here to help you get those jobs done today and for the years to come. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions, please give us a call or check us out online. This has been Josh with Woodland Mills.